Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Wang, and in this video, I want to provide you with some more information about the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering here at the University of Toronto. First, let's talk about who we are as a community. U of D Engineering is Canada's premier engineering school and among the best in the world. Our students, staff, and professors form a tight-knit, spirited, and diverse community. In fact, each year we welcome students from all over the world, as well as across cultures and communities here in Canada. We're especially proud that our first year class has been composed of 40% women for the past several years. As a faculty, we value diversity because it deepens the engineering creative process and enriches the learning environment both inside and outside of the classroom. We endeavor to do our part in diversifying the engineering profession in Canada by increasing access to our programs for people that have historically been underrepresented. Engineering is a profession that serves all of humanity not just local communities, but also increasingly ones across borders and around the globe. For our students, this translates to a curriculum that informs them of the ethical, social, and economic impacts of engineering solutions in a global context, and does so not only through coursework, but through hands-on experiential learning. We call it engineering for the world. In our current times, this means U of D engineering researchers and students are actively tackling COVID-19 from creating tools to optimize how key resources like equipment or medical expertise can be effectively distributed across hospitals to ways to track and even predict the future spread of the virus. Shrey Jane created just the tool. A first year student at the time, Shrey led a team of more than 25 collaborators who together rose to the occasion to create flatten.ca, a site that crowdsourced data and provided a real time heat map of COVID-19 cases to better track its spread. The tool was a game changer and is now being used by local governments in Montreal, Canada and Mogadishu, Somalia. The learning by doing education at UFT Engineering makes a story like Shrey's not uncommon. Regardless of what specific academic area of study you choose to pursue, we create a range of unique experiential learning opportunities for you to enhance your technical and professional skills. A few examples, include institutes dedicated to engineering leadership and entrepreneurship, coordinated summer research opportunities, and our unique co-op program. The Professional Experience Year Co-op Program, or PEY Co-op for short, is our flagship work experience program. Before you join U of D Engineering, you'll be asked to indicate your interest in this optional program. If you choose to opt in, you can expect to start your professional development right in first year, giving you lots of lead time to explore and understand your career interests with expert guidance from career counselors and upper year mentors. This year, a whopping 90% of the first year class chose to opt in. The quality and value of the program clearly speaks for itself. Through PEY Co-op, you can participate in two different work terms of different lengths. There's an optional four month summer position after second year, as well as a 12 to 16 month work term after your third year of study. Our 12 to 16 month work term is designed specifically for engineering professional experience because the length, much longer than traditional four month co-ops, allows our students to immerse themselves in a project from beginning to end and make more meaningful connections professionally. Through our robust network of employers, you'll have access to a database of near 2000 jobs across every sector and all around the world. And with three years of professional development under your belt, you'd be more than ready to seize your dream position. From banking to healthcare, multinational brands to fast-paced startups, this is a career launchpad you won't want to miss. Last year, the average 12-month salary alone was already 51,000 Canadian dollars, with many students earning more for longer work terms. To hear more from a student's perspective, follow the URL ufdeng.ca slash coop to our website and learn about Kimberly's experience in the aerospace industry and her travels to France because of it. Of course, PEY Co-op isn't the only way to have incredible career building experiences. Labs like Professor Warren Chan's, where researchers are using nanoengineering to better treat cancer, hire students every summer to participate. Extracurriculars are another great way to hone your leadership, teamwork, and communication skills, and also have a little fun. Our students are passionate about gingerbread suspension bridges, solar car races in the Australian outback, 
even homegrown musical sketch comedy shows like School Night. Groups like National Society of Black Engineers, Queer Sphere, and the Association of Chinese Engineers also strive to provide community, advocacy, and a celebration of diversity. We hope this community will help you feel that you belong here right from the start, even in a virtual world. A great example of this is this year's Orientation Week, or Frash Week. This upper year student run event that marks the start of the school year for the incoming class was for the first time run in two parallel timelines, lovingly named the Milky Way and Andromeda Galaxies, to allow equal participation from students on both sides of the world and in different time zones. Our spirited community is just one part of our magical formula for student success. We boast a dedicated first year advising team who are experts at proactively providing support to first years, a key to a smooth transition from high school. They complement a range of more specialized supports from mental health to intercultural learning to our faculty and residents at Chestnut Residence. This approach has yielded a remarkable 95% retention rate from first to second year for our engineering students, one of the highest among our peer institutions. By the time our students graduate, our holistic approach to engineering education to nurture the whole engineer and not just technical abilities has placed them among the most sought after for global employability. I hope right now you're seeing all the possibilities a UFD engineering education can provide you and are excited to start your research into which programs you'd want to apply to. Our 10 programs are grouped into two curricular pathways. Core program, including chemical, civil, computer, electrical, industrial, materials, mechanical, and mineral engineering are available as direct entry programs. This means you can take program specific courses right from first year. In the same pathway, you can also choose to apply to track one undeclared engineering for general first year experience. As a track one student, you cover the same foundation as any core program student would while taking an extra course that helps you learn about the differences between the core programs. In the end, if you maintain good academic standing, you can be guaranteed a transfer into any core program for your second year. The second curricular pathway is engineering science, which is our research-oriented option with an accelerated two foundational years, which then allow you to sit at the cutting edge of engineering research advances in your upper years by following an engineering science major, which is essentially a research topic for you. The current eight options include aerospace engineering, biomedical systems, electrical and computer, energy systems, engineering math, statistics, and finance, engineering physics, machine intelligence, and robotics. While many topics may be similar to the core programs, the research-oriented, theory-driven approach is what separates the engineering science pathway. Our students progress through both pathways in cohorts, meaning classes in most courses are with the same group of peers. This creates an ease when networking, collaborating, or reaching out for help for students in the same program. Of course, while licensing regulations mandate a portion of your courses, there are still parts of your degree available for customization. For example, you can customize your program by adjusting your area of focus. Areas of focus are groups of courses that help you specialize on a sub-discipline within a program. Materials engineering students, for example, can choose to focus on biomaterials versus sustainability which will lead them to take different elective courses in their third and fourth years. Or you could opt for one of the 21 engineering minors or certificates. Engineering business, biomedical engineering, artificial intelligence are all popular options that are not program specific customizations. Last but not least, you could even widen your horizon with an arts and science minor, such as psychology, indigenous studies, or perhaps Finnish. To learn more, visit our website download our viewbook, and stay tuned for invites to program sessions, open houses, and student panels coming up. Hope this helps.